Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to break these objects and relationship into a database design, or how to convert these objects and relationships into a database design. There are three key rules that you need to remember whenever you are converting objects and relationships into database design. That is, the first rule is one table for each object. That is, say you have admin, trainer, student, workshop, and material. So you have five objects, so you will get five tables. That's it. The first rule one table for each object. The next thing is you have relationships. So for one to many relationships, say if you come here, you have admin and workshop. It is one to many relationship. Now, what is that I need to do for this? For this kind of scenarios, for one to many relationship, one will become master table and M, that is many, will become child table. That is, primary key of one will act as a foreign key for M. That is, primary key of master table will act as a foreign key in child table. And master table, wherever you have one, will become master table. Wherever you have M, many, will become child table. For example, department and employee. What is the relationship between department and employee? It is one to many. One department can have a number of employees. Whereas one employee cannot belong to a number of departments at the same time. See, this is the scenario we have. So the relationship is one to many. So what can happen? For department, you get a table with department ID, department name description, and for employee, you get one table, employee ID, employee name, employee salary, and department ID will act as a foreign key. Why? Because one stands with department and M stands with employee. So relationship is one to many. So department ID of department table will act as a foreign key in employee table. So this is the ideal scenario or the situation wherever you have one to many relationship it is very simple one will become your master table and many will become child table and primary key of master table will act as a foreign key in the child table one kind of relationship that is the second rule and third rule is for the second kind of relationship that is many to many the third rule is many to many relationship in this case both the objects that is many and many both the objects will become parent table and it will give a birth to a new child table we call it as transaction table let us take a scenario student and course one student can opt for multiple courses that is true and one course can be opted by n number of students that is also true so this scenario is many to many so what is it it will have it will have a student table and a course table student id student name and address course id course name and description now both of them will become master table and they are going to give birth to a new table called as student course table this is a transaction table where you have some student course id as primary key for this table whereas the student id comes from student table and course id comes from course table so this is the second ideal scenario that is whenever you have many to many relationship both the objects become master and they'll give birth to a new child so that's it these are the three key roles for any sized database now in our scenario while uh, going to design the database we have five objects those are nothing but admin trainer student workshop and material so we got five tables so let's go back and look into the objects yeah here we have we have five objects so five objects will become five tables and in two relationships there is one to many one for admin many for workshop so admin will become master for the workshop and here many to one or you read it as one to many workshop to ma material workshop will become master material will become child and rest two relationships are many to many so they are going to give birth to two new tables so altogether we'll have one two three four five six and seven tables so let's see that here 
So we got five tables, five R master table. If you observe, admin can create n number of workshops. So you have admin ID here, which which is primary key in admin table and acts as a foreign key in workshop table. Now in the same way, one workshop can have a number of materials. So workshop ID of workshop will act as a foreign key in material. Now one trainer can deliver a number of workshop and one workshop can be delivered by a number of trainers. So these two trainer and workshop will give birth to a new table that is nothing but trainer workshop table. So trainer ID from here and workshop ID from here will act as a foreign key. In the same way student and workshop even these two tables will give birth to a one more table student workshop table. Student ID from student table will act as a foreign key whereas workshop ID from workshop table will act as a foreign key. Here. So this is the database that we got for our objects and the relationships. Hope you might have understood this. Now what is it I am going to do? I am going to enhance it a little. This is fine. If you, if you are done with this, that's okay. That's right. That's perfect. But keeping some more things in my mind or in our mind, say in future, if we get one more object like admin trainer or student, I am looking for some sponsors. So I need to create one more table, sponsor table. Fine. So, to avoid this kind of scenarios, what is it I can do? I can club admin, trainer, student, these three tables. And there could be one more situation in future trainer can have access, student can also have access. So, I'll club these three tables and I'll make a user table. And in that, I'll add a role ID or you can say a role. Role could be admin, trainer, student. In future, if you have sponsors, you can get one more role. If you want one more thing, guest lectures, lecturer, you can have one more role. So you can add n number of roles in the future. So I'm going to enhance it a little. That is, you'll have workshop and material table as is. You'll get a new table that is role table will where it has role ID and the relationship between role and the user is one to many. One role can be applied to many users. So yeah, this is the relationship and user ID for the workshop and user ID for trainer workshop and student workshop. So admin and trainer and student, all these three details are maintained in the user table. And we are differentiating users with the help of a role ID and the role information is present in the role table. Hope you have understood this. Next, same user ID is acting as a foreign key in workshop, same user ID is acting as a foreign key in student workshop, same user ID is acting as a foreign key in trainer workshop. And workshop ID is again the same old thing. Now we have enhanced that and we got six tables and it is more dynamic. In future you can add n number of roles or n number of types of users. This is our finalized design. Now no more theory. We'll go for implementation. So let's go and implement it. So let's see implementation in our next video. Thank you very much.